Alrighty then. Route 39, Azusa Canyon. So this looks like it might be one of those valley floor kind of canyon rides. Those can be pretty interesting. You only have something to hit if you go off the road rather than uh, flying off a canyon wall. <laughs> but I know this hooks up with uh, Angela's Crest at some point. So it's going to climb. But otherwise I don't know anything about it. Though to get to Angela's Crest, apparently you have to take these little side routes. Uh, and those do look a little uh, sketchy. They're, they're not even really on the map. You have to really zoom in before the maps show you any of those uh, routes. Because I think those close frequently. This is pretty fun so far. High speed sweepers. Little corners, little bridges, you get some view, and we're already climbing. So, uh, at bottom of the canyon prediction, like Bouquet, it was wrong. Entering Angeles National Forest. Some of my most fun on this motorcycle has been in Angeles National Forest so far. And all, a lot of that's been just in the last two weeks because that's the first time I've been in the Angeles Crest on my motorcycle. And as my skills develop and the roads I go on require a bit better of a rider, then uh, it goes hand in hand, you know, enjoyment gets better, the ride gets better. I screwed up that corner a little bit ago, it looked a little more interesting than I expected. Gotta give him the wave. I'm generally egalitarian with the wave. I'll wave at just about any motorcycle. Well, I mean, I'll wave at every motorcycle, I guess. But I know some guys have their uh, little hang-ups about certain types of riders. I think it's uh, it's kind of fun, actually, to kind of wave at the uh, cruiser-type guys just to see if they'll wave back. I'm not really thinking they're going to hunt me down. Oh no, the sport bike rider waved at us. I don't think anyone does that. So it's not like you have to worry about them. Just you know, give them some courtesy. They go, hey, look at all these sport bike riders riding at us. Maybe we should wave back. Oh, that's a nice little lake there. I think this uh, route has a bunch of water next to it, based on the map. bike had these weights on the end of the bar ends. But when I switched to the Woodcraft clip-ons, you don't get those. They just have these little plastic nubs. They're uh, sliders, I guess. Um, so I wanted something a little better. I mean, I looked around. There's a lot of companies who make weighted bar ends, but there's little tricks about is that the right size for your uh, clip-ons, whatever. I just said, uh, let's just get the Woodcraft ones. They look alright. So I, I got those installed the other day. They're on now. And I, I, I would say the vibration is less. Hope he's okay. I don't know how much I can really offer somebody, but I'm always willing to stop if I think somebody's in need. Hope uh, somebody would do the same for me one day. I know uh, one time I got pretty close to getting uh, run out of fuel, so I try to think. I might get help, but maybe I can uh, help my brotherhood and get a little something back. The engine braking on this thing is pretty good at slowing you down. I finally got somebody. So you generally don't need to uh, be over aggressive with the brakes. Just let the engine do the work. That little concrete patch was slippery. Maybe it's the time of day. Maybe
maybe it's just the uh, less popular of this road. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with uh, how few people I've run into on this road. The few bikers out here. Uh, this guy seemed like he was moving okay, but now he doesn't. You know what's really frustrating is when you get stuck behind somebody, you finally get past them, and then the next car. <laughs> you know? And that's happened to me a few times in the past. This guy is definitely just moving slow. We're going to go up to Crystal Lake because uh, I don't know where else to go. Take it to the end. Crystal Lake Cafe. Now, when I was a kid, my favorite little uh, horror film was uh, Friday the 13th. Yeah, and. Uh, they, uh, that happened at Camp Crystal Lake. And we are heading towards Crystal Lake, as near as I can tell. This must be up the top somewhere. Now, I doubt there's a camp there. And I doubt that's where the film is set. There's probably multiple Crystal Lakes. Right, kind of funny to think you might be in uh, Jason's territory. A lot of this kind of reminds me of uh, bits of ACH that I've been on recently. Obviously they were in the same hills, just a different part of them. It's all part of Angeles Forest, just to switch side of it are you on. Only 2,000 feet. So we're back into the middle of the uh, hills, right at the bottom of the canyon. So we didn't climb very much yet. There must be more to come. It's a nice little bridge. Twisties, eight miles, and we're going back down. <laughs> I don't know where this road's going. This will be fun. It's cold, but campground. It was called Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, that naming scene doesn't fit out here. I'm pretty sure it was filmed on the East Coast somewhere, and it's possible the lake's not even called that. They used the name from somewhere else for a site. Ah, that was stupid. I must have uh, borrowed the name and for a different lake. I don't know. There's lots of, uh, I'm sure, forested lakes around uh, somewhere in the east that they must have used. But who knows? I mean,. I don't know if it was really a Hollywood production, but you know, this is a really tight section. Stay on your side of the line, dude. Appreciate it. Something written on the road. Okay, Angeles Crest doesn't have any segments like this. So tight, twisty, second gear corners. 
haven't seen an ele uh, elevation sign in a while. So, not sure. I did gather we've gone up a bit. But we're doing it kind of gradually, but it's hard to tell with these little corners like this. Smokey, I'll do my part, you do yours. Uh oh, somebody's up there. 5,000 feet. See, so yeah, I thought we passed four without getting told. Is that the plan? Yeah, I guess so. Close the road on me. So I'm not gonna be able to get to ACH. Gotta go back down the hill. Where we came from. Check that out. Pretty nice. Get a better picture of what the what we went through to get up here. Hey! Alright. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so unfortunately our preferred route today is closed off. That connecting road between here and Angela's Crest is uh, unusable. So we're going to go back down to Zusa, to the bottom of the hill. Sometimes the road you didn't like too much going one way is a lot better the other way, so we'll find out if uh, that's true of Zusa. I mean, I think the uh, tight and twisty is going to be still tight and twisty more than I prefer, but who knows, even that could get a little better the right conditions. Crystal Lake. Nobody in hockey mask. I was quite disappointed. Are you expecting me to figure it out? I will. I see an opening. Oh. Thank you. fun out there man. Top's closed. This is alright. This is a good flowing downhill because it was such a gentle uphill for most of this. I didn't recognize any of those bikes. One of them could have been a 300 but I don't know. I don't think they're all the same bike. Good luck, dude. Dude, you guys are going. <laughs> I just don't see this as being a good, uh, the same kind of road Angeles Crest is. This is not, that's not what a Suze is. It's, it can be fun. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of fun in here, and maybe some people really like that Titan Twisty. Uh, kind of reminds me of like some of the stretches of Mulholland or Decker on the Malibu Canyon areas. But uh, the rest of it's uh, good, you know. I guess uh, one good benefit of turning around and coming back out of Azusa, which is uh, Azusa, Azus, fuck. <laughs> one good thing about having to turn around and come back out where I came in on Azusa is I get to go to one of my favorite Italian restaurants in this area. Normally the only time I get out to go there is if I uh, go to the LA County Fair or I think I stopped there once when I went all the way out to Chaparral to go shopping. It is the old spaghetti factory. There used to be one in Hollywood. I am quite disappointed that it closed down right around the time I moved to Hollywood. That, that really pissed me off. So I saw almost no one on the way through. 
now it's everybody I see is on the way. I thought two bikes, I think. That's all I remember on the way up. Probably seen 15 to 20 on the way down. I wish them all luck. Hopefully the uh, route being closed doesn't throw them off too much. We're now leaving Angeles National Forest. So I'm gonna start lighting fires. That was fun. Wasn't as fun as Angeles Crest, but I did like the down better than Angeles Crest. The uh, up was okay. The twisty stuff was better on the way down than the way up, which is really, really rare. Maybe I was just less tired and more committed to it, but uh, yeah. I had a lot better time going through the twist, the tight stuff on the way down than the way up. But it sounds like there's a lot more to this hill, this mountain range, Angeles Crest, that I need to uh, explore. <laughs>